Welcome to the first of the Quirky Traveller Tours. We're going to start off from here, which is Rydal Mount, and we're going to go into Grasmere, and then the first place that uh, we'll probably be getting out at is Rydal Water. So this is Rydal Water behind, which is just between Ambleside and Grasmere. I think you've got everything you could want in the Lake District in one short walk from a car park. Um, you've got the fells around you. They're only small fells, but they give an impression of majesty. You've got the lake. It's a very pretty lake, little islands in it. Um, fabulous at the moment. It's slightly frozen, there's snow everywhere, but at any time of the year, it's beautiful. And this little seat here, I call it the Velvet Escape seat because some months back I was asked by a Dutch journalist to write a piece for uh, their website about my favourite place in the world really, the place that I thought was the loveliest. And although many places came to mind, this kept coming back because I think it epitomises all that's lovely in the Lake District. Um, all that's real as well. It's, um, it's, it's, it's not a fake Lake District, you've got the main road behind us. But for me, the Velvet Escape is about just being able to sit here and as Wordsworth would say, recollect in tranquility. It's a very, very lovely, lovely place. This is the very pretty village of Elterwater. Uh, we've come through the Langdale Valley from Ambleside. Um, it's an absolutely spectacular drive. Um, I mean, the weather now is just so, so glorious. It's, it's got the mist and the shrouded hills. Uh, in the summer, you've got wonderful views of the Langdales. Langdale, it's um, Norse for Long Valley Langdale and Elterwater is this village but it's also the name of the little lake nearby um, and Elta is Norse for Swan so it's Swan Lake so it's our Lake District Swan Lake um, it's a very traditional Lakeland stone village um, very nearby up behind me here is the uh, are the slate quarries and they also used to mine gunpowder but what's happened now is it's been taken over by um, a big hotel timeshare place and some lovely chalets to stay in. And um, there's also a very pretty little Lakeland pub here called the Britannia Inn. Highly recommend that for either staying in or having a meal. River running through here. Um, a beautiful, beautiful place to have as a centre in the lakes. But I love it because it just sort of a